took a sleepless week of data crunching, but I eventually tracked down the location of my friends, locked away in the mysterious towers of Prague. At the moment, they are the unwilling guests of Interpol's most renowned prison warden, the Contessa. While still a criminal psychology student, she entered into a whirlwind romance and married a wealthy aristocrat. Sadly, the union was short-lived, as the general suspiciously died a few weeks after the ceremony. The widowed Contessa put her education and newly acquired estate to work by opening a criminal rehabilitation center. Her pioneering use of hypnotherapy has produced some good results and subsequently earned her a prominent position within Interpol. My friends are locked up somewhere in the clinic and are slated for the Contessa's good Samaritan brainwashing. If I don't bust them out soon, they'll be working a nine to five job selling shoes and I'll be out two best friends. I should make my way over to the Contessa's house. Maybe I'll pick up a few leads on the location of Sly and Murray. The Contessa is out making her rounds. Wait a second. The feathers on my sleep darts vibrate near sounds. If I maintain my position on top of this parabolic dish, I should be able to hear that frequency at a distance. This is great. If I tag the Contessa with my darts, I'll be able to listen in on whatever she says. I might even learn where she's locked up Sly and Murray. The gang is falling apart. Spice shipments have almost stopped. I never would have joined if I'd known it would be this easy to disrupt the plan. At least the Cooper gang is under lock and key. Their lopsided morality flies in the face of man's inherent selfishness. Ah well, they'll see it my way soon enough. Those fools at Interpol. They keep sending me criminals and I keep making money. How come no one ever thought of this before? Hypnotize criminals and force them to reveal where they've hidden their fortune. I'm a genius. If only I had more spice to help me with a hypnosis. That blasted Cooper gang. The fat one. What's his name? Mari. Yes, Murray. He'll be the first to break. I should spend a few sessions probing that feeble mind. I can only imagine the wealth that gang has accumulated over the years. That 
Sly Cooper. Such a complex and rebellious mind. A month or two in the hole should break his spirit. Let him squat there week after week. He's seen that the guards along the wall all have motion detectors. There is no escape. Slowly, the reality of his captivity will set in, and I'll get to work on his mind. Inconceivable! She's no healthcare professional! Why, that's the most heinous crime I've ever heard of! Putting inmates into hypnosis so they'll tell her where they've stashed their loot! It dishonors both law enforcement and thieves at the same time! I should get to work and figure out a way to break Sly out of the hole. <laughs> part of a control system for the electromagnetic train. By hacking all the terminals along the train tracks, I should be able to reverse their polarity, thereby turning the train into a giant projectile. Without question, its impact on the prison walls should create a hole large enough for Sly to escape through. Ah, nothing like a good computer hack job. I'll have to hack through these barrier nodes. I should move the right analog stick in the direction I want to unleash my hack by using both analog sticks at the same time. I'll be able to move and shoot in different directions. That's one down. The train should be picking up speed. to go. should speed up the train by at least 50%.
Just two more terminals. The train's at full speed. Now, on to reverse the field's polarity. Trajectory! Bullseye! The guards along the prison wall are outfitted with a motion tracking device. There's no way for Sly to escape. Unless I take those guys out with my RC chopper. <laughs> 